Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick way to do a slide transition effect. So I have four clips laid out on the timeline here and you can see there's a cut between each clip where they transition. And that's where we're going to make them slide into each other. So what you want to do is open up your effects panel on the right hand side and in the video transitions folder, you want to open up the slide transition folder. Here you should find one called push. This is what you want to click and drag in between your two clips. Now if it's not letting you drag it at the cut, don't worry. Place it there and then you can click it on the timeline and it should open in the effects control panel. Here you can adjust the alignment of it to start at the center of the cut. This will just make sure that the start and the end of the push is symmetrical between the clips. And you can see the cool thing about this push transition is it literally pushes the over other clip aside without overlapping it. But there's a few things that we want to improve upon to stylize this and blend it together a bit better than just the default push setting. So one, I want to make it a bit faster. So what I can do is click on the ends of the transition and just drag it in. And you should see a clip duration or a transition duration there and I can make it last just a couple frames less. So doing that, I can make the transition last about half a second instead of go slowly. And that adds just a bit more slam in your face effect if that's what you want. Now there's also a few other things we can change like what direction this is pushing in. So the same effect controls panel that we were using earlier, you see this little square with four directional arrows. If I click any of the arrows, it'll change the direction. So if I wanted to go from south to north, then I can do that or I can go from top to bottom and do that. My advice is take a look at the way things are moving in the original clip and play off of that to have the smoothest looking transition. Now the next thing we want to do after we've sped up the transition to be much faster is add a little bit of directional blur. Now in order to add this in between the transition without having to add it to both clips, I'm going to go to my project media bin and I'm going to go to file new adjustment layer. This is going to create a new adjustment layer that we can drag on a track above our clips and then cut it down to size so that it just lasts a few seconds in between our transition. Really it should last just about as long as the transition, maybe with a couple frames of buffer. Now we can apply the directional blur effect onto this adjustment layer so that it applies throughout both of the clips. So go over to your effects panel and you can find the directional blur under the video effects folder and it should be inside the blur and sharpen section. Here you can see directional blur. So I'm going to click and drag that onto the adjustment layer and then highlight the adjustment layer and go over to the effect controls panel and we're going to add a couple keyframes. So right in the center of the two clips and you can see Premiere should snap to the center. You can also use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to find the center of clips. Just make sure you have that track highlighted so it takes it into consideration. And then at the very center, I'm going to turn on this little stopwatch to toggle animation and it's going to place a keyframe in the middle. So for this keyframe, I'm going to use about 50 on the strength of the blur. Now you can see it's going up and down and I don't want it to do that because what I'm trying to do is blur this line out. So I can change the direction of the blur to be 90 degrees. Now I'm going to go to the beginning of the push transition and then I'm going to make the blur length 0 and then I'm going to go to the end of the push transition and make the blur length 0 again. So we can see what happens is it starts blurring as it starts moving. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So it just adds a little bit of visual blur to it. Now if you want to use this effect on the following clips on your project, you could simply place the push transition in between those clips and then do the same thing that we just did, make it center and then shrink it down. And then if you're doing a horizontal blur like before, you could just copy the adjustment layer with Command C as the shortcut or right click, copy the layer, and then make sure your track is highlighted and then paste it on top and you'd have the same amount of blur right as before. Now if you're doing an up and down directional track like I showed in the example, then you could just go to the adjustment layer and this time change the direction to be zero degrees, which would be up and down. So you could play around with the speed and the strength of things, but that's how to quickly create that smooth push and slide transition using just a couple of the built-in effects in Premiere. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like on it below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all types of new creative related videos. I have a lot more Premiere Pro tutorials in a playlist on my channel if you want to check them out. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho to stay tuned with everything I'm up to. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.